Welcome to my YouTube channel. Learn at ease. In this video I will discuss a topic in biochemistry. Biochemical properties of water. Part 2. Solvent properties of water. In my previous video on structure of water and ice I depicted. 1. Unusual properties of water. 2. Structure of water. 3. Ability of water molecules to form hydrogen bonds. 4. Structure of ice. In this video I will explain solvent properties of water. So let's begin with first solvent property of water that is. Formation of hydration shells. Water is highly polar nature and so it is an excellent solvent for. Ionic substances such as salts. Polar substances such as sugars. Simple alcohols, amines and carbonyl containing molecules such as aldehydes and ketones. Water readily dissolves salts. Even when the electrostatic attractions between the positive and negative ions in the crystal lattice of a salt are very strong. Water dissolves salts such as NaCl by hydrating and stabilizing the Na plus and Cl minus ions weakening the electrostatic interactions between them and by forming hydration shells surrounding these ions. Now let's see the representation of hydration shells formed in the image shown. Here when NaCl is added in water, the electrostatic attraction amongst Na plus and Cl minus ions is weakened by water. So both the ions Na and NCl are dissociated. The water molecules in the solution forms the hydration shell around individual Na plus and Cl minus ions. This hydration shells, avoids reassociation of Na plus and Cl minus ions and thus. Na plus and Cl minus ions get stabilized in the water and remain soluble. Here one more image of hydration shells is shown. This image is taken from a reference book. Leninger's Principles of Biochemistry 5th edition. Whereas previous image was taken from Biochemistry, Garrett and Grisham, 5th edition. Each water molecule in the hydration shell around a Na and ion and Cl ion is replaced on average every 2 to 4 nanoseconds by another H2O, where 1 nanoseconds is 10 raised to minus 9 seconds. The same factors apply to charged biomolecules and Compounds with functional groups such as ionized carboxylic acids, protonate amines, phosphate esters, and phosphate anhydrides. Water has a high dielectric constant, aids hydration shell formation. The ability of water to surround ions and diminish their attraction for one another is a measure of its dielectric constant, D. The equation here describes the dielectric constant. Where Force experienced between two ions of opposite charge F separated by a distance R and where E1 and E2 are the charges on the two ions. Now I will move to another solvent property of water. That is, water forms hydrogen bonds with polar solutes. Non-ionic but polar compounds such as sugars, ability of water to readily form hydrogen bonds with the polar functional groups on these compounds such as hydroxyls, amines, and carbonyls. These polar interactions between solvent and solute are stronger than the intermolecular attractions between solute molecules caused by van der Waals forces and weaker hydrogen bonding. Thus, the solute molecules readily dissolve in water. Water forming H-bonds with polar solutes is shown in the image. Here the image on the left shows that water forms H bonds with hydroxyl group of alcohol. And second similar image on the right shows water forming H bonds with carbonyl group of ketone. An essential concept to remember here is that, hydrogen bond formed at an angle of 180 degrees is most stable. Such hydrogen bonds are considered strong hydrogen bond. Whereas, Hydrogen bond formed at an angle less than 180 degrees is considered unstable weak bond. Let's move ahead with another solvent property of water. That is, water aids hydrophobic interactions. Nonpolar solutes, or nonpolar functional groups on biological macromolecules, 
do not readily form H bond to H2O. As a result, such compounds tend to be only sparingly soluble in water. The process of dissolving such substances is accompanied by significant reorganization of the water surrounding the solute so that the response of the solvent water to such solutes can be equated to structure making. Nonpolar solutes must occupy space when added in water. Consequently, the H-bonded water network rearranges toward formation of a local cage-like, clathrate, structure surrounding each solute molecule. Increase in enthalpy by addition of nonpolar solute in water. Because nonpolar solute restricts formation of hydrogen bond formation by occupy space in water. To reduce this enthalpy, water forms clathrate structure surrounding each solute molecule and reorganize them in the space. The image shows that when a nonpolar compound is added in water, molecules of water will form a cage-like, clathrate structure. This clathrate structure, enables the nonpolar compound to form a droplet in water, which will in turn allow nonpolar compound to occupy minimum area in water. Thus, Clathrate structure formed by interaction of nonpolar compound and water molecules allows nonpolar compound to occupy minimum space in water, which stabilizes enthalpy. Now I will portray fourth solvent property of water. That is, behavior to amphiphilic molecules. Compounds containing both strongly polar and strongly nonpolar groups are called amphiphilic molecules from the Greek amphi meaning both, and philos meaning loving. E.g. Salts of fatty acids they have a long nonpolar hydrocarbon tail and a strongly polar carboxyl head group. The image on the right shows amphiphilic molecule, that is fatty acid. In the image the aliphatic carbon chain is nonpolar and so it is termed as hydrophobic tail. Whereas the carboxylate COO- is hydrophilic and this hydrophilic portion of fatty acid is termed as hydrophilic head. Now, hydrocarbon tails, nonpolar, of these substances are joined together in hydrophobic interactions. Their polar carboxylate functions are hydrated in typical hydrophilic fashion. Such clusters of amphipathic molecules are termed micelles. Image over here shows the formation of micelle when such amphiphilic molecules are added in water. The image is taken from a reference book. Leninger's Principles of Biochemistry, 5th edition. In the structure of micelle, hydrophilic heads are arranged on outside in such a manner that they can interact with water molecules and form hydrogen bonds. Whereas, hydrophobic tails are arranged towards inside, where they cannot interact with water molecules and thus, amphiphilic molecules are stabilized by formation of micelle. And, enthalpy is reduced. Now let's move ahead with the last topic for this video. Colligative properties of water. This influence of the solute on water is reflected in a set of characteristic changes in behavior that are termed colligative properties, or properties related by a common principle. These effects include freezing point depression, boiling point elevation, vapor pressure lowering, and osmotic pressure effects. For example, one mole of an ideal solute, NaCl glucose, dissolved in 1000 grams of water, a 1 m, or molal, solution, at 1 atm pressure, depresses the freezing point by 1.86 degrees Celsius raises the boiling point by 0.543 degrees Celsius, lowers the vapor pressure in a temperature-dependent manner, and yields a solution whose osmotic pressure relative to pure water is 22.4 atm. See the image of osmosis as an example. References Leninger's Principles of Biochemistry, 5th edition Nelson and Cox Biochemistry, 5th edition Garrett and Grisham. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you for watching my video. This video is prepared by Dr.